okay so uh, how would you compare cloud cost of kubernetes versus a serverless architecture Right. So in terms of the uh, serverless architecture, that's definitely um, something that is different than this Kubernetes. Right? So uh, Kubernetes is a uh, sort of a distributed operating system where you deploy your workloads and they uh, use different resources in terms of Kubernetes objects. When you talk about serverless, the cloud providers take care of the underlying server. So you just pay as you go for the code that is actually executed. So the cost model, I don't think there is uh, and so, sort of an apples to apple comparison here when you're running things uh, on a kubernetes environment there is a lot of things that you have to take care of yourself because you are controlling how your pods are actually scheduled uh, you're still controlling the same thing uh, on the serverless side but kubernetes is not pay as you go that is you provision the instances and whatever cost that is associated with that for that let's say for cpu you will incur that the problems will come when your workloads are actually underutilizing those things. In terms of the serverless pay as you go, you just pay for uh, whatever your application is doing, but that can still quickly balloon up if you do not model it correctly and your applications just deploy a lot of serverless instances instead where they can just do something with minimal amount of those instances.